Woodna is located in the centre of Eyre Peninsula. Farmers around this district are leaders in dry land farming. They are very switched on and supported by the, the businesses based here. Businesses that not only operate from Woodna but across South Australia as well. We're considered probably a bit more of a marginal area. We don't have the rainfall as a lot of other areas. And not only that, we, we have a lot of variability from not only from one paddock to the next, but within the same paddock. Because of that, we employ a lot of technology to help us chase the last one percenters. Everyone in the community is very passionate about Woodna and they want to see it grow in a time where small country towns seem to be dying out. I feel like Woodna's got enough passionate people here to continue that to grow, whether that's through the school, agriculture, tourism. I think people are always trying to find ways. And the school has um, really picked up over the years on encouraging agriculture as a, a study pathway for students. TAFE is really developing. Um, the online learning is amazing nowadays and there's any choice of subject certificates, diplomas that they can do from a local base and that's really added an element for people that um, can't always move away for other types of education. We know that ag is changing um, in our environment because of our environment and in our society um, and you really need to be smart with the agricultural program so you know we want kids involved in the cutting edge of agriculture to make sure that they have that knowledge going forward because most of our kids come from farms um, and if they don't come from a farm they're involved in providing a service to a farm. So there's a real passion and a real drive to understand this area, so understand this basically life around us because we're always going to need ag because we're always going to need to eat. Our ag program, it's very heavily supported by the community. So whether or not the community are donating steers, sheep, their expertise, for them to have people working in the field, working in the industry come and talk to them, then they get that applied application of what they're doing and seeing that what we are learning is actually real and real people actually do it. For me, I just want to show them just how broad this industry is and so there could be something that they kind of tweak their curiosity and it could be somewhere they go in the future. We keep a lot of our kids in the end. We have quite a few that do go away but uh, the ag program that we've been uh, offering has actually seen a lot more kids go to, U like stay to year 12 and then go to uni following an ag um, industry pathway. Community plays a big part in keeping this community going. Council, um, along with our ratepayers, have worked hard by making great facilities in the town and ensuring that we do have the services. A lot of those are provided by volunteers. That's what keeps the town going. We are versatile, diversive, and we support each other and there's so many industry areas um, but the biggest thing is probably the community backing that we have for each other and just keeping everyone moving along. G'day, Ned Lodes, uh, Woodna Area School Principal. My name's Chris Foster. I work for Westwood um, as a farmhand. I'm Eleanor Shells, Mayor of Woodna District Council. My name's Genevieve Wright. I'm the Ag teacher and science teacher here at Woodna Area School. 